Uh, so I'm Peter and I'm here today to talk to Mr. John Levine. Mr. John, Sergeant Benson. Yes, of Doctor Who. Well, yeah. Peter, first of all, thank you for giving me your time. I do understand that when you're a fan of Doctor Who and you come to a convention, the whole idea is to see the people that were in the show and to listen to them talk, possibly have a photograph taken. And Peter has done all of those things. And the funny thing is, he's one of those young men that has the enthusiasm that make actors like me respond, which is why I'm bothering to do this recording when really I've got bigger fish to fry. But I like frying smaller fish. So whoever hears this, remember a couple of things. If you are in love with someone and you betray that person, it'll come back and bite you and make your life an absolute misery. There's another little thing, unto thine own self be true. If you lie to yourself and you lie to other people, it'll come back and get you and one day you'll suddenly realize what a fool I've been. I've lost the woman or man I love, my parents don't want to talk to me anymore, all because you lied or told a bloody lie because you thought it might help someone. My problem is, I'm very honest, I cannot fuck around telling people things that aren't true. Honesty. Honesty. You've got to be honest. So, unto thine own self be true. And the reason, as I said, I'm doing this for Peter is because Peter's one of those fans. I don't even like the word fan, because it stands for fanatic. And these young lads are not fanatic, they're just interested. So, all in all, just to let you know that when I was in Doctor Who, it was an utter, utter joy. And the fact that Peter, all these years, after 50 years of us doing the show... I'm not that old. That, no, no, no. But the fact that Peter's young and that watching a show that was made 50 years ago is quite remarkable. So, I'm going to close this now by saying, be good to the people you know. And if you are in love with someone, tell them you love them. Don't think that they know you do. And that's how all the marriages and relationships break up. And you also have to talk to each other. All these smartphones, which are killing everyone. I consider these smartphones liquid cancer. I would no more have one of these. I would rather die than own a smartphone or a computer. Now, having said that, my website is run on a computer, but somebody else does that. I'm dyslexic, so I can't use typing. So anyway, I find it quite inspirational that you're trying to get a film running though, because I've just made a short film for you and it had a TV production. Oh, okay. And um, my film won an award actually. I was happy enough to, lucky enough to win it. But um, it's such hard work, and that's why I've got so much respect for you to write a screenplay, especially a feature film. Mine was only ten minutes, but yeah, to do a feature film. No, this is film, big. This is huge. A um, lot, lot, of respect and a lot. Yeah. Of, uh, well, I shall certainly let Peter know if I get it off. And remember, there's no guarantee. Yeah. Just because I'm John Levine doesn't mean to say my movies off. But the fact that John Travolta, who I've been introduced to by a best friend of his, who happened to be a best friend of mine, he is now looking at my treatment. And so as we speak, Mr. John Travolta is in Hollywood watching The Demons on a DVD set that my friend sent him in the American system. So John Travolta of Saturday Night Fever is going to be watching me in Hollywood this weekend. How weird is that? Okay, look, I've got to go now because I've got to pack up. I'm going to thank Peter for his enthusiasm. Peter, don't give in. Don't just don't give in, but, but do understand one thing. If you're pursuing something that's creative, if it doesn't work and you end up not being any good at it, get out. Don't stay in something and get, let it get weaker and weaker and you get more frustrated. Well, it either works or it doesn't. You're either good or you're not. You either make money or you don't. Now, I've never made money. In Doctor Who, we made, I was on £80 an episode. £80 an episode. My friend George Takei, who was in Star Trek, made £25,000 an episode. Look at the difference. So keep going, but when you get, how old are you now, Peter? 21. Right, yeah. when you get to 25, you either need to get away from what you're doing and try something else, okay. or this will be, because if you go on past then, it becomes stale, you lose interest, you'll know when it's not working, but you'll also know when it's working. And if it's working, let me know on my website and say, John, remember the little chat we had in Oldbourne? It worked. I've done a little thing and it's lovely. And I would love to see your... If you want to send that to my website, yeah. I would see it privately. We wouldn't put it on the, on the website necessarily, but I'd love to see your work. I love seeing what other people do. Okay. All the courage. I worked with... Um, so there's a, there's a documentary on this Doctor Who DVD, and Toby Hayden got me a job on it. Do you know, ah, you know Toby Yeah, I love yeah. Toby. I res now, Toby's my hero. Yeah. He's, he's, great, isn't he? he's fucking fantastic. He did the review of, I sent him some private DVDs of my private life. He sent me back a written review of all of them. Best stuff I've ever, oh, I adore Toby. I'd, I'd actually go over, i do a lot for Toby. He knows that. And his wife. Oh, he, wrote, he wrote the introduction to your yeah, biography, didn't he? To my book, yeah. yeah. Have you read my book? I've got it, but it's, I've not it's, got around to reading it it's yet. It's ever so. so sad. I've had a brutal life. It's been yeah, a but, you've, but that, that shows how good you've come out of it, though, and, yeah. and how much you've had to... Yeah. Took a lot. Yeah. 80 years of grind. 
and here I am now. Right, Peter, I need a drop of water. Good luck to everyone that hears this. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Only two pounds. <laughs>